was born in Maryland, 1943, and was one of two women to attend Morgan State University for Physics. She graduated in 1964 and went on to work for NASA until her retirement in 1995. After seeing an illusion that involved concave mirrors and light bulbs in a museum, she became curious. Valerie Thomas was an American scientist and inventor. In 1980, she created the illusion transmitter, which allowed two-dimensional images to be observed as if they were three-dimensional. Not only did the transmitter lead to the invention of 3D movies, but the technology is still Obama. Langston Hughes was an African-American poet, social archivist, and novelist, one of the earliest innovators of the literary art from called jazz poetry. One of his poetry is not on commercial theater. You have taken my blues and gone. You sing them on Broadway, and you sing them on Hollywood Bowl, and you mix them up to synonyms. And you fix them so they don't sound like me. Yep, you don't take my blues and gone. You also took my spirituals and gone. You put me in Macbeth and Carmen Jones and all kinds of cuddles and in everything. But what's about me? But someday somebody will stand up and talk about me and write about me black and beautiful and sing about me and put on place about me i reckon it will be me myself yes it will be me african americans work Mercer Langston Hughes, February 1, 1901, May 22, 1967, was an American poet, social activist, novelist, playwright, and columnist from Joplin, Missouri, one of the earliest innovators of the literary art form called jazz poetry. Hughes is best known as a leader of the Harlem... Hello, my name is Amelia, and in this video I'm going to talk about African Americans who gave their contribution to the society. I am going to start with Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King was born as Michael King Jr. on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, the second of three children to Michael King and Alberta King. No single African American in history is perhaps as famous as Martin Luther King. There is a federal holiday on the third Monday in January, celebrated in his honor and whole sections of textbooks are devoted to his civil rights activism in the 1950s and 1960s. A Baptist minister in the city Black authors who changed the world. Black voices seem to remain silenced and stifled throughout history. It is our job to make sure their voices are heard. Take some time to learn about some of the most influential black authors of the past and present whose words helped shape a brighter future for black Americans and the U.S. in general. 
Tony Morrison. Chloe Anthony Morrison, known as Tony Morrison, stands as a Nobel Prize and Pulitzer Prize winning novelist. Considered the voice of African American women by many, she crafted intricate stories that capture the dark struggle of slavery and racial discrimination in America. Her first novel, The Blue. doing good to see you my name is David Ofa and I'm a student from uh, class 11th day of Pedro University School and as for the Afro-Americans month I'm gonna read a poem of sympathy by Paul Lawrence Dunbar one of the greatest if not the best uh, Afro-American poet of all time so let's go I know when the cage bird feels alas when the sun is bright on the upland slopes when the wind stirs soft through the springing grass And the river flows like a stream of glass When the first bird sings and the first bud opes And the faint perfume from his chalice steals I know what the cage bird feels I know why the cage bird beats its wing Till his blood is red on the cruel bars For he must fly back to his perch and cling when he fain will be on a bow a swing, and a pain still throbs in the old, old scars, and they pulse again with a keener sting, I know why he beats his wing. I know why the cage bird sings, ah oh, me, when, he when his wing is bruised and his bosom sore, when he beats his bar and he'll be free. It's not a carol of joy or glee, but a prayer that he sends from his heart's deep core, but the plea that upward to heavens he fling. I know what the cage bird says. That was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the time while I was reading this poem. Nice to see you and goodbye. What the cage bird says.